Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode. In this one, we're checking late season mule deer cameras. Well, it's June. My brother's been editing like, cr <laughs> editing like crazy, trying to catch up from last year. And uh, I've been working quite a bit. But I found a day to sneak out and pull some cameras we chucked into our old mealy hole from when we were kids. So I'm out of here dealing with that. Got some batteries, pulled some cameras, and I am pretty sick of the mosquitoes. Oh, you can see them out there. They kind of come and go in waves. But there is literally tens of thousands of them around my truck right now. It's pretty gross. Skeeters. There was none last week. And this week there's a bajillion. Look at all of them. They're trying to eat me. Freaking disgusting. <laughs> gotta get out and go hike in these things again man you can't even stop if you stop you get to demolished it's brutal i just found something i can't say i've ever found in the woods before i thought it was full some kind of an egg Potentially hatched, actually. Or something got into it. Pretty cool. This is what I am talking about. There's just freaking millions of them. They are everywhere. <laughs> Not good. Trail cameras this time of the year are brutal. Like, look at them. Just like freaking everywhere. As soon as you stop second you stop moving it's all over you're gonna get eaten alive hopefully worth it for some reason my phone won't read any of the cards and this is a brand new phone so that's pretty disappointing new technology not messing up with older technology anyway Two down, two to go. In pulling these cameras, I really wasn't expecting a lot. From the time that we used to hunt this place to now, the sheer volume of deer that are there is probably less than a quarter of what once was. But in typical fashion, throughout the start of the rut in late October through about the middle of November, I had a handful of mature deer come by to check some does in the area. It was nice to see somebody like this walking around. There was also a handful of other deer, lots of lesser bucks, few little guys, handful of does that stuck around pretty much all winter. And because the camera made it all the way until I checked it this summer, it gave us some valuable intel on how the deer were cycling through the area. Some of them just never leave. Pretty cool. This was a small amount of salt that I put in last year. It's turned into a pretty good pit. Funny thing is, this must have happened over the winter because, or maybe this spring, Put this camera in here in October and there was like no wildlife here at all. But I figured I'd leave it. 
Apparently something showed up. This is a spot that me and my brother have both shot deer in when we were kids. I had high hopes for it because back in the day it was a really good mule deer spot. But when I put this camera in, I had a bummed ankle. I couldn't hike as far or as deep as I wanted to, and I really didn't get it into proper winter range. That being said, it still produced a handful of photos throughout the seasons as they went by. One half decent buck, few little guys that hung around all winter. I fucking hate mosquitoes. Just biting the crap out of my hands. <laughs> There's millions of them. <laughs> oh my God. It is not good. Let's get the hell out of here. This last camera, dubbed Buck's Knob, really was the one that I was hoping to produce. It's a high elevation fur camera. Normally it would hold quite good quality bucks. I had some really good encounters still hunting here as the years have gone by. There was a good amount of rut sign in there, but the camera placement may have been off. I got a handful of deer that cycled through. Some stuck around actually right through the winter as well. Not the quality I was looking for, but maybe this year we'll try again. Running trail cameras for mule deer is really a treat. They are my favorite species and being able to have a handful of extra eyeballs in the woods, even though you're not physically there, it does give you pieces to the puzzle. We're just getting started this summer. We'll have a whole bunch of cameras out here pretty soon. It's just finding the time to be able to get out, scout and put them where you want. Thanks so much for tuning into this one. We have a lot more coming at you.